The Tale of Jinjiro. There once was a gingerbread man named Jinjiro. He lived in a magical place called 679 Landia. He was very different from all the other gingerbread men because he was very, very slow and fat. When he moved, it was like he was trying to be sneaky because you couldn't tell he was moving by the speed of his movement. And he always had a plan. If someone were to try to eat him, he would stand still in one position so that the predator would think he's just a still figure and not edible. Until one dark and stormy night. Jinjiro was like a usual gingerbread man. He was going outside to turn on his Christmas lights for his house to show his Christmas spirit. One squad called Squaw Goals, also known as Goals, wanted to eat Jinjiro for a special Christmas dinner. They were familiar of Jinjiro's ways of being slow, so they decided to make a trap. Jinjiro saw that the main leader was trying to find him, and that's what the main leader wanted. The main leader wanted it to be obvious and make Jinjiro think that he didn't know where he was and he was trying to find him. And Jinjiro, of course, saw him and was going to act like a still figure and basically blank out anything and just focus on being still. And as Jinjiro is standing still, all of a sudden, something hits his stomach, which gets him off balance, and he falls into a big hole in the ground right behind him. Still not knowing what just happened, Jinjiro is trying to think of what he saw before he fell in, because he remember that he was just scared because he was blanking out. And then he remembers that he thinks he saw a sort of tube near his stomach. And then he thinks of maybe the marble came down from there and that's how it hit him. And then he remembered. It all started coming back to him. He remembers that there was a member from Squaw Goals who looked pretty young and he was holding a catapult and he catapulted a marble that went through a funnel and hit Jinjuro and it made him fall into a big hole in the ground. Jinjuro feels the ground that he's laying on and realizes that that doesn't feel like the ground texture and then he looks around and realizes that he's in a box and he fell into a trap. <laughs>